Sororities. They've been around since the dawn of time, or at least 1851 with the founding of what is now known as Alpha Delta Pi at Wesleyan Female College. During this time period, men ruled the campus life, so in order for women to express their intellectual and social ideals, sororities came to existence. But it was only a matter of time before stereotypes were formed. A group of students from UNCW got together to research the world of stereotypes surrounding sororities today. Our research question is, what are the stereotypes surrounding Greek life and how that affects girls' decisions to join a sorority? Sorority girls are easily spotted on campus wearing oversized pastel colored t-shirts with the name of their sorority in the back, oftentimes paired with a pair of norts or leggings. They are known for dressing the exact same, wearing lily pulitzer, partying all of the time, hooking up with different guys every night, and being airheads. But these are your common stereotypes, the partying, the drinking, but what most people don't acknowledge is the philanthropy work that these girls do and the charities that benefit from it. The reason we chose this research topic is to understand the stereotypes and preconceived notions that college women have about Greek life and some reasons that they choose not to be in Greek life. And some normal stereotypes are they say that you pay for your friends with the dues that you have to pay for your sorority and that um, sorority girls party a lot and that's what they're known for. But there's also some really great things about sorority life that I think are overlooked by the negatives, like the philanthropy events that sororities put on um, once or twice a year, and they raise lots of money for great organizations like CMNH, which is the Children's Miracle Network Hospital, and other things that have to do with domestic abuse and spousal abuse and diabetes and mental retardation problems. Um, Sororities are also really good about keeping your academics in check. Um, for most sororities, they have a certain GPA that you have to have per semester to um, be in good standing with the sorority, which means that you can participate in social events. And if you're on academic probation, then you have to attend discipline and um, make sure that you can get your grades in check because when you're in a sorority, you represent not only yourself, but a group of other girls, and they want the best for me. Okay, so we're going to obtain our information by conducting an online survey by email. Um, the questions are all completely open-ended, and it's completely 100% confidential. We do need to obtain these girls' identities just so that we can email them and make sure that we're in contact. And um, the survey is going to take between 20 to 45 minutes, depending on how in-depth they are with these questions and how truthful they're going to be with our survey. Okay, so our participants will be sorority and non-sorority students. Um, we'll study the sorority to, typically to understand why they joined and what they do. And as for the non-sorority, we'll, we want to use them to study and understand the preconceived notions um, involved with sororities. For this, we'll also do, we'll take two students from each soror from approximately three sororities. Um, those will be randomly selected, as well as six randomly selected non-sorority 